Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, uh, we're going to be playing a couple of demos and we're going to be looking at cafe simulator type games and we're starting off with this one, Espresso Tycoon. Um, now, this just has one campaign level available as part of the demo, so we're just going to jump straight into that and see what it's all about. You've won a contest titled I've had enough of corporate work, and the grand prize is an opportunity to intern at cafes all around the globe. Your journey begins in Cape Town, South Africa, where you'll get to learn the ins and outs of running a small coffee truck while gaining valuable business skills. Right. Okay. Well, that seemed like an AI-generated voice, but I think that's one that's been created ethically oh, i don't know anyway uh let's get into it see what we have to do okay everything seems a little dark and brown oh the lights are very foggy oh you must oh. be the winner of the contest Nice to meet you. My name is Kim, and I'm here to help guide you during your coffee journey. We're oh. going to travel around the world together, starting here, in a beautiful park in Cape Town. Do you see this humble coffee truck over there? Let's start with creating a brand for it. Okay. Don't stare at me like that. Um. Oh, go. Hmm. I like beans. Uh, yeah, we'll just call it Espresso Tycoon, I guess. Um, font. Oh. oh. Quite a few. Quite a few different little fonts there. Uh, I, I liked the typeface one, though. Where are we? Yeah, I like that. I like that one. We're gonna go purple, because I like my purple. Uh, change brand name. Oh, okay. Uh, the Beanie Boys. <laughs> wow, what a brand! I bet your place will attract customers like bees to honey, or like pigeons to coffee. Uh, Wait, what's going on? Uh, banter. Oh, there actually is a pigeon in the coffee. Why is this happening? Why? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've seen many weird things in my career, but a caffeinated pigeon is definitely something new. In any case, let's learn how to navigate the scene. By the way, if you ever need help with any task, just click the show me how button for more detailed instructions. Okay. Um... Okay, so I, I understand that if they're a small indie company then they probably don't have pretty easy right but that's not all a In lot of our resources world, you can fly around freely like a pigeon you can switch from strategic to pigeon or er, cinematic camera mode to see the world from different angles try it now and they're having to use text-to-speech for their voiceover but it just sounds very unnatural Now that you know how to move the camera, let's get to work. First, we need to buy some chairs and tables and so people can sit down and relax. Uh -huh. We should also consider adding some additional lighting, just in case someone is sipping on coffee all evening long. Okay. And if they're going to make, like, little jokes like that, which, you know, is fine. It's fine to make a little joke here and there, but when it's delivered in an unnatural, inhuman cadence, it just... It just sounds really awkward and very... I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'm being harsh. I don't know. Uh, well, wh wh where's our money? Oh, there. There's our money. Okay. So, we've got quite a bit of money, but we'll start off... What? What do we do? Click on the chair and add some tables. Do I not drag? Do I... What's going on? Oh, right, okay, so I just pull it out like that. 
Um, now we're going to start off as cheapskates. First of all, gotta wait till you can get the money in before you start spending. Uh, how, do you, how do you rotate? Do I, no, not like that. How do I? It's the camera rotating. Uh, no. R? Ah, there we are. R. the other one. Lights? L have a lamp. Okay. Modern lamp B. That's that's huge. For that price, that's huge. Uh, maybe I'll just put one in the middle. Nice work. The park is looking empty. I mean, cozy. You're almost ready to start earning money, but we still need to create a menu for customers to order from. Okay. Menu. Oh. Uh, add espresso and Americano to the menu. Okay, so I just dragged them across. Such a diverse menu. Uh. Anyway, to help you out, I've already hired a barista and stocked up on the basic supplies that you'll need to start serving coffee. Okay. You're all set to go. Now it's time to see how your first customer buys a coffee. All right. Oh, that's my custom. God, the, the bloom! I can barely see what's going on over the lighting fog. Congratulations on your first sale. While you might not be rich just yet, with a few more million sales, you'll be well on your way. Let's huh? take a closer look at that customer now. Okay. Click on the customer. Okay. Oh. Social group unlocked. Casual. Taking it easy one day at a time. Putting our responsibilities until they absolutely have to be done. Bean Talk and Beanstagram are their periscope for life. Hmm. Meet Johnny Doe, a casual. It's good to know your customers. Fortunately, equipped with an amazing mind reading device, you can see what your customers really think about their experience. Each review affects your rating points. So right. pay attention. Can you see his review of the coffee price? Uh affordable. Right? Okay. When My next task is to close the window. About the affordable price of coffee, you may consider increasing it a bit to earn more money. Let's try that now. Uh, wait, hang on. Okay, increase the price of the espresso. All right. Close window when done. Does that have to be a step? As you can see, analyzing you not think I could figure that out your myself? customers can give you valuable insights into how to grow your business. Okay. But don't forget about the other customers. Click on the highlighted one. Okay. Hipster. Are hipsters still relevant? I thought they were like an early 2000s thing. Anyway. Uh, always on the hunt for the next artisanal, organic, humour-free, weird everything, cruelty-free, fair trade, ethically sourced, and local coffee. Fighting social commentary for the modern age. This is Marco Polo, a hipster. As you can see, he likes coffee to go, but you don't have any takeaway cups. Okay. So, what about that? Yeah, I can it's figure a that opportunity out. to learn how to order supplies. Let's make your customer happy and order some takeaway cups for him. Okay. Uh, simple cups, I guess. Instant delivery. Not much more expensive, though. Um. Five, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. How many? The supplies are on their way. Just wait a bit. In the 21st century, drones can deliver your order. In our world, people are okay with drone delivery. It's a normal part of our mundane life. Hey. Why are you? What? Okay.
Uh, I'm gonna skip this. You're learning I don't very have fast. You've analyzed customer reviews and taken action to improve your profits and customer experience. Okay. That's how you build a successful business. There's right. one more customer waiting. Let's take care of her too. Okay. So for student, pulling all nighters, like it's their part time job, surviving on ramen and caffeine, and trying to find the meaning of life in between lectures. Okay. Meet Dana Mulder, a student. It looks like she really, really likes your decoration. I'm not surprised at all. You've already met three different social groups. Oh. In future missions, you'll meet even more. Remember, okay. each social group has different expectations. Okay. I'm trying to not be zoom in on the place so the cynical about sitting, this, you'll but... You'll notice that she left some rubbish behind. This happens sometimes. Some customers can be a bit messy. Let's clean it up so the next customer won't complain. Okay. Or they can that learn not to be better. so dirty. Just a heads up. Sometimes you might need to focus on a task, but there's a lot going on around you. In these situations, you can always pause the game and take right, your time. Okay, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. I... Pretty useful, right? With the game paused, yes, very you can basic do your also. job without rushing. On the other hand, when you're waiting for something and don't have much to do... Yeah, okay, 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 I get it, I get it, I get... Oh my god! Now you know how to manipulate time. You're almost ready to go. I wish I could in real life. That some customer. Um. Okay. Dogs. 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 Uh. Where do I get special? Oh, there we are. Dog balls. Hang on. Um. Not being able to drag them is a bit. Feels counterintuitive. Uh, dog bowl there, and dog bowl there. Ah, so many happy dog tails. My boss, Mr. I Hate Him, tells me I'm needed somewhere else now. I'm confident that you'll be able to complete the mission on your own. Check out the mission window to see your goals and progress. We'll see each other again soon, I promise. One last tip. Check if you still have coffee beans. I... Suppliers, okay. Beans. No, I don't have beans. I just... Okay. Okay, let's... Let's try not to be so cynical about this. I'm being a bit... I, I think I'm jumping the gun a little bit and being a bit... Judgmental straight out the gate. But... The tutorial didn't feel... Very intuitive. And... The uncanniness of the voice didn't really lend itself to the humor it was trying for. I can see what it's trying to do. I can see how it, where it's going with this. I can see, you know, what we're trying to do, but the price of the Americana is a bit high. Oh, okay, so you want me to reduce the price of the Americana. Um, but I don't think it's quite there. Okay. Do I have like a uh L5 coffees? Okay. How do I get people to buy coffees? Price of the Americano is a bit high. Let's lower it again. if there's something more I should be doing. Is that like a toilet out of order? Oh, that's great. Oh! A giant... Well done, you've taken a small step as a businessman, but a giant leap as an intern. Your Beanie Boys coffee truck in Cape Town is a place where people feel relaxed, sip on delicious coffee, and have fun with their furry friends. As a reward for your hard work, we're excited to unlock another feature for you, Coffee Editor. You'll find it in the menu on the bottom left. Get created and come up with unique coffee recipes 
the challenging campaign is coming in full version. Top it off, we've deposited 2,000 into your bank account, so you can decorate the park however you like. See you soon! Oh, so it was that kind of... Oh, that that's kind of it. Then. Or like the official demo. But let's take a look at the coffee editor then, see what we can do. Uh, let's make a small one, I guess. We can appeal to the different, uh, what's the word? Social groups. So if we start off with espresso, hipsters like that. What do hipsters... Hipsters like mayonnaise in their coffee. What? Okay. Hipsters also like larger drinks, so maybe I should do an, a, a large one for the... Uh, I'm not sure. This isn't really appealing to anyone. Okay, let's try a larger one then. If the hipsters like larger ones, I don't know. Oh no, extra large. They, they want more than that. It said more than 300, but it's... How about that? No? I don't understand. It says larger than 300. I'm giving them larger than 300. And that's still coming up as a red. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Uh, what else do they like? Mayonnaise, which is stupid. Um, steamed milk. Do they like steamed milk? Apparently. Let's see if I try hot milk first. Oh yeah, they like that. Okay, let's turn that down a bit. Uh, I think I don't really know what's going on anymore. Anyway, the hipsters like that, so let's call it a hipster chino. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh. Can I, can I name it, please? Can I name it? Do I have to name it at the beginning? Why, why can't I... Am I missing something? Can I just not unlock that in the demo? Hang on. Okay. Right, create new coffee. Let's try again. Hmm. Ah, there we are. It Oh, I see. That there's no actual text bar pop up to tell that it's selected. Again, that's a very counterintuitive thing. I, uh, no, that's, that's how you spell Shino, right? The two C's? Ah, whatever, I'm doing it anyway. Well, let's go back to what I did have. art or topping in the demo so we're just gonna leave it as that save and we're gonna put that there and see how people like it <coughs> oh and there's rubbish everywhere well of course there's a 
let's fast forward. Do we need more milk? Hang on. Slow down a bit. How much milk do I have? Two. Uh, so... Yeah, let's get... Get some milk in. I'm basically just gonna play this until I sort of figure out a... Well, not figure out, but just sort of like... for a little while. Maybe about another ten minutes or so. No? Why, why am I getting bad reviews? Many doesn't offer any cord for you. I would order. Dude. Okay, so we only have one thing that appeals to hipsters at the moment. So let's see what... Um, see what students like. Students like... Uh, lots of caffeine. And they like soy milk. And they like small... Okay then, so let's go for the 100 mil at the end here. Should apply a, 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 a appeal to the students, apparently, I don't know. Number of unique layers, few. So, let's have a lot of caffeine. What else do they want? Cold soy milk. How, how do we get more caffeine than that? Unless there's different coffee beans. Um. Cold milk? No, does that not does that not appeal to them? What else do students like? They like ice cream as well. Okay, let, let, let's get some soy milk then. Okay, at the moment this is all just about sort of like experimenting with the different uh, elements of the game. Soy-ish mm. milk. <laughs> that should do. Let's buy that now. And see what we can make with this. Carousel that cycles back to the front would be helpful, I think. Cold soy milk. Hang on, it said... Why are they not liking this? I'm giving them their ordering. Unless less than 200 mils can be in a larger cup, just with... Alright. Hmm? If we go 30 mil... No, 30... There we go. Hundred mil. They want less than two hundred mil. <laughs> but they want more caffeine. How do I put in more caffeine? I mean, obviously more coffee, but then that takes their size preference down. There must be other types of coffee. Yeah, because there are other coffee beans. So, yeah. Maybe if I try getting other coffee beans. Okay, let's forget students for now then. I've got no idea. You're another student. I don't know, man. I just... I don't... Do 
it doesn't doesn't say anything about like having more caffeine in it. Hmm. Mm. Let's try going for the casuals then, I guess. First. Casuals like lots of different layers, lots of calories, medium caffeine. They don't have a preferred size. So, mm. different layers. Espresso, hot water, hot milk, steamed milk. That's not doing anything. Try a large one then, actually. They like cold, so iced coffee then. Right. Espresso, cold water, uh, cold milk. Hmm? Uh, cold soy milk? There we go. Uh, iced. Casual. <laughs> ah, okay. So it does seem. Hmm? No, I don't know. That that's not that's not the caffeine content, though, is it? I don't know. I think that's that's the one thing that's kind of stumped me on it is what is the caffeine content customers uh, all social groups we want students who doesn't doesn't offer anything okay so I'm sure it'll be fine once I've figured out what they actually want from me. Can I sell remaining coffee? No, it doesn't look like that. Okay. Let's put these on five hour order. And then see what happens. What else did it say they like? Ice cream? Let's try some, getting some ice cream as well then. Seems like a weird addition, but if that's what they want. Some... No, not strawberry. Peanut butter. student? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, students have nothing to order. Well, I'm working on that, but I just don't know what they want right now. Like, how do I figure out the, um, caffeine content is what I'm stuck on? And this is something really obvious that I'm missing, which I may well be. I don't know. Here's a delivery. Oops. Right. Now let's see if we can make anything else. Right now, they want small, don't they? Yes. What do they like? Caffeine. They like cold soy milk. 
Ah oui. Ah. The fact that the sliders are so fiddly doesn't help. Mm. And then peanut butter ice cream. Oh. Still not in the green for them. Just don't bring this down and pop it up with more caffeine. Yeah, the only thing missing is the uh Caffeine, but I don't know what to make that. <laughs> Do then, yo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to change the caffeine. So unless that's just a matter of coffee available. Then I don't know. Anyway, let's zip forward, see if any more stuff happens. Getting very many customers at all, really. <clears throat> all right, do I need more? Okay, I need more milk. I'm not going to order any more the Nespresso, because that's not what I want to use. Changing to a different coffee to see if that actually helps with caffeine. Caffeine. Because otherwise, I've got no idea. Guy's got like a wait time. Okay. Drop the milk off any time now. There we are. We're not using the new coffee yet, but it should be soon. I just want to hang around, see what happens if, when we use the new coffee, see if that changes the caffeine at all. That's gone down, so they've, they've been using it for something. Uh. I don't know, maybe it's just something that isn't in the demo. Maybe you just, or maybe if I turn that, turn that down and then put that up. Uh. Oops. 
No, I've no idea. Absolutely no idea. Not my favourite coffee. Well, how do I make your favourite coffee? I don't know. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, no, I don't know. Like, I can't figure out how to increase the amount of caffeine in the coffee. Because I would have thought adding more coffee would do it, but it's just like... They want more than 350 milligrams of caffeine. Let's try doubling the espresso. Oh, there we go. But then that takes up the majority of the, um, the drink. Okay. I'm trying to be very... Okay. Okay, so I was trying to focus on the size of getting it under 200 mil. But I suppose I can still do that. I just have to drop everything else down. There we go. We still want it under 200. I... Do that. Oop, that's just over. Okay, yeah, that solved the problem. All I had to do was put more espresso in. Fair enough, then, I guess. So, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Uh. Seems very simple and straightforward. Um, I can't imagine the full version having much more than this, though. Like, all, of, all the demo was was sell five coffees. And that wasn't that difficult, even without, like, the micromanagement of different social groups, three different social groups. Um, it wasn't that difficult. I suppose uh, there are... Where are they? Uh, if I go back to the menu, there are other social groups here. So I suppose if you have limited menu slots, you'll have to um, balance them all a little more equally. Because, uh, yeah, you've got, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. uh, six menu items and eight social groups. So I guess more balance would be needed. But, um, yeah, seems okay. Seems okay as just, like, a little management game. Not too complex. Um, yeah, how much is this on Steam? Uh, one second, I'm just gonna gonna take a look at the store while I. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna save because it's just just a demo. I didn't really do much. Um, there's it's. Normally 1675, it's on sale at the moment, half off 837. That seems like a lot. Like, based purely on what I played at the demo, I don't think that's worth 17 pounds. Like you you could I d I don't know. It, it, it's fine as a little game if it was just like cheaper. Than that, but I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that was Espresso Tycoon. I enjoyed it for what it was. 
Um, but I don't think that brief demo alone is enough to make me pay £17 for a full version. So, we're going to quit this one here, and we're going to switch over to our next game. Okay, so this next game is Boba Tea Shop Simulator. Uh, as we can see, this is um, Chinese primarily. There is English there. But it does make me wonder how much support there is going to be going forward for an English audience. Because the Steam page the Steam page is written in English, but all of the um, community is in Chinese. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm willing to give it a shot. Oh, okay. We only got two days for the soft opening. Open up the garage door and get inside your shop. Okay. So this looks like the garage door here. Yep, there we go. God, the smells. Take out the trash and clean up this place with the rag before the customer comes. Okay, so. Take out the trash. It's a click. Click to interact by the looks of it. Click up, put down, yep. Hold E. Clean the stains. Okay. That's all cleaned up, so I think we can open the front door. No? No? So what have we got? We've got bridge. We've got uh, ice tray with ice scoop. Little ice cubes. We've got uh, the shaker for shaking. We've got pot of boba. The actual bobs. Oops. Got some kind of jug. Spoon. Scooping. Okay, good. Take plastic. Oh. That's going to be to serve boba in, isn't it? So if we get some of these ready to go, that's going to save time in the long run, probably. No one coming? Tidy up a little bit. Ooh. Water. <coughs> I think their pathfinding is a little bit forked. Let's uh, look in the streets. Ah, there we are. We have a customer. Hello. Oh, a little ticket popped up there. What do you want? We want boba black tea, less sugar, extra ice. Okay, so black tea. Uh, fill until 300 mil. Okay. Oop. And what was it? Less sugar, extra ice. So extra ice is 75 grams. Jesus, that's a lot of ice. Hold E to add ice. Okay. Is it 70 grams? It doesn't seem to scoop the ice right away. Oh, 75 ice. Okay. Seems to only do it in tens. It was a less sugar. Less sugar is 15. Okay. Oh, I probably should have put your boba in first, shouldn't I? Never mind. Here you go, buddy. The fact that it doesn't mention I have to add boba. That next. Didn't say anything about boba, but maybe that's because I'd already done it. 
God, you're getting impatient, aren't you? You don't wait very long. You're already getting annoyed. Like, what more do you want me to do? I'm going as fast as I can. I am but one person. I am but one egg. Okay, so put that on there. And then, uh, ticket. Four stars, nice. Looks disgusting. Never mind, order a pack of tea leaf using the laptop. What do you mean, looks disgusting? Black tea with milk. I don't... Uh, this one? Milk tea? Milk tea? There we go, that's got milk. Alright, and then what did you want? Oh, that was close. You want less sugar and less ice. Less ice is 25. And less sugar was 15, right? Okay, so if it only goes by 10s, we're going to have to have 30. Okay. And then less sugar was... Oh, did you want a boba? No, no boba. Okay. One. Two. Three scoops of sugar. Okay. And there's the cup. And it's telling me to order a pack of tea. So let's order... Oop. Black tea. Oop. No, let me serve. Serve the customer first. Oh. Oh, two and a half stars. Why, did I take too long? Boba green tea, standard less ice. Okay. Mm. Green tea. Less ice was 25. Standard sugar is... 20. So let's do those first then. Do the boba first. See if that makes a difference. And that's one... Two, three, four, and then ice has got to be 30, because it doesn't do five for some reason. I wonder if that's what affects my score, not being able to... Will you be patient? God! What is wrong with you? Right, there you go. You're welcome. Four stars. So I need to fill the big bucket with wa with water. Okay. Here we are. Hi. What can I get you? Uh, milk tea with extra milk. I don't know how to give you extra milk. Tell me to do several jobs at once here. Uh, what was it again? Standard and low ice. So 20 and 10 for low ice. Not less, low. Okay. So 20 sugar. Don't know how to give you extra milk. I'm out of sugar. Uh buy extra sugar on here. Sugar. Uh, but no, that's boba. I didn't want boba, I wanted sugar. Oh, well, I've just wasted that then. Sorry about this. See, I'm trying to play the game, but the tutorial isn't telling me how to do things, so... Or at least, the tutorial is, is telling me to do things that are not relevant to serving customers. Here you go. Sorry about the wait. 
Oh, three stars. Why didn't the three star thing go? Boba black tea with milk. I don't... Can I get milk? Milk. Okay. Ratio of milk to tea is approximately one to one. Okay. Do I need to put... Okay. Boba black tea with milk. Less sugar, less ice. Boba... Black tea Um What what what's happening? says there's no milk in there. What? Why are you trying to make me do things you haven't explained yet? That is kind of stupid. You know, not trying to be harsh or anything, but how am I supposed to do these things when you haven't told me how to do them? I know this is wrong, but I don't particularly care right now. Yeah, also the floor is sticky, so I need to wipe up. That was a waste of milk, because... Do I need to put the milk in first, before the tea? Whatever. Sorry, I'm ignoring you, because it needs me to make tea, and it won't let me do anything else until I make the tea. Or at least it won't continue with the uh, tutorial until I make the tea, so sorry. Alright. Ratio of milk to tea is one to one. Right. So what does that actually mean? Hello sir, what can I get you? Green tea, less sugar, no ice. Less is 15. So just a plain old 15. Whoop. Okay. So yeah, add the tea to the bucket and call it a day. Oh, I don't... That's about it. Keep up the good work. I have faith in you. Uh, I don't know if it is about it. Because I'm still doing things here. What was it? It wasn't boba, was it? No, it was just green tea. Okay. So... Buddy, I'm sorry, but I am a single person working with very little direction. Boba milk tea with extra milk. Okay, so if I 
take this, open the package, carefully. Ah, there we are. Okay. Uh, and then what was it? It was milk tea, wasn't it? Boba milk tea. So let's put your boba in now while I've got it here. Oops. Uh. And then what was your... Standard no ice. So you want 20 grams of sugar. of sugar. Of course I am. Oh, I forgot to shake it, but never mind. It'll be fine. Please tell me that this is what you ordered. Two and a half. Okay, fine, whatever. I'll, I'll accept it. I just want a minute to stop. Right, boba green tea, half sugar, normal. Uh, boba. Green tea. Half sugar should be ten. What's normal for ice? Normal ice is 50, and half is 10, yes. Oh my god! That was close. Cook it, please. And then 10 sugar. Shake. Okay, okay, I'm kind of getting there. Kind of getting there. It'd just, be, it'd just be nice to have some breathing time. Boba milk, standard, no ice. Over. Standard is 20, so let's do it while I'm here. Okay. Uh, what was it, milk? Yeah. Get one ready. Oop. And there you go. Hello. You're going to be the last one for the night, I think. Boba black tea with milk. Okay, so first we get the milk. And we pour in the milk. Why isn't it going up? that it? Oh god, this runs out really quickly. Okay, fine, whatever. What was it again? Boba black tea with milk. Black tea. Okay. Half sugar, low ice. Half sugar is 10. Oops. And low ice is uh, 10. Just one scoop. Okay. 
Whoops. Can you shake, please? Where the flip is it? Right, that's it. I'm closing after this guy. Here you go. Sorry there's not enough milk, but I wasn't really informed on how to do milk properly. So, uh, goodbye. Um, I have closed. I have closed. Unless it's because I've closed after midnight. And now I have to do another day. I don't know, we seem to have... seem to have cashed my money in. Oh. Okay, so apparently I'm gonna need a lot of... Uh... What's it called? Milk. These seem to be just decorations and not actually have anything in them. Like, yeah, I can't rotate them, I can't use them. So instead, I'm gonna put actual useful items up there, like... What's the word? Sugar. So if I buy one, uh, two, uh, three sugar... So do I have to close by a specific time? Oh! Oh! I'm clo- I'm sleeping. Oh! Oh, that ends the demo. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. That wasn't too bad then. Uh, C, total revenue, 305. Um... Play again, just to take me to the- would it take me to the main menu? That's what I want to go. Ah, uh, no it doesn't. Okay, so never mind then. I'll just back up from this and... Oh, I can't put it on my head. Anyway, yeah. Okay, so let's just uh, go back. Okay, so, yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, the problem is, it just seemed like there wasn't a chance to actually do anything other than just the boba. So, like, obviously there was other stuff to do with boiling the tea, making sure the tea is restocked, but, uh, I don't know. It, it just seemed that it was, um... It was, it was a bit too fast-paced to actually get anything done. Like, there were customers ordering milk tea, and the tutorial hadn't even described what milk tea was. How, well, no, not, not milk tea. Tea with milk. That's a different thing. And the tutorial didn't uh, explain anything about how to do that, about how much milk you need to add to the tea, and... I don't, yeah, I don't know, it just, it just felt like it was trying to throw you in at the deep end with a little too much to do. Like, the people waiting for Boba, they got impatient really quickly, and it's like, I'm going as fast as I can, I'm still learning how to do it, even in, like, a tutorial stage where it should be, like, easing me in, and I should only be making drinks that the tutorial tells me to do. It just felt like I couldn't, couldn't catch up, I couldn't catch my breath. Which is a shame, because otherwise, it seemed like a really fun game. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I think the entire support page, like the discussion page and the uh, Steam forum, being in Chinese, doesn't make me feel as though it's going to be very well supported in English. But, I don't know, it's still in a demo, it hasn't had an official release yet. Maybe if there is an official release and it starts being picked up by more English-speaking players, there might be some better support for it. But unless that happens, then I I don't see myself buying this, unfortunately, because it 
which is a shame because something like this I would absolutely love. I'd love to play a game like this that's not quite as fast paced and is fully supported in English. But, uh, but what this is now, at the moment, I don't think this is quite for me. It's almost there. It's almost perfect for me. But I think it's just a little too much. Okay, so this next one is just a little bonus game. Uh, this one just has a non-story uh, component to it. So we're just going to get into it. And this is just like a fun little time-killing game, as it were. A little, little puzzle. Oop. Come on. In you go. We're packing bags at the uh, supermarket. Right, what's in here? Four, eight, eight, five. Enter. One basil. Uh, let's put this on the top here. We can put some potatoes in. Oh, that's chocolate chips. Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, yum. Actually, if we put these up here, the light items, we want the heavy ones at the bottom, like the cauliflower, which is 4079. Pop. Yep. Uh, and then. There we are, nice and efficient. And then a pie. And more chips. And meat, beef steak, and then more cups. Okay. What do I do? Press A. Hash. And your ticket! There you go. Well, your receipt. So perfect. Nice. Okay, we've got toilet paper. We've got tortilla. Oops. You're not coming in? There you go. Uh, right, let's put the beat in the bottom. What's the code for the beat? That's four, five, three, eight. One beat. And then we're going to scan the um, snacks. Get a new bag. What's this? Wine, vinegar, wine. Lovely. Eggs. You put the eggs on top. Oh, that's it. That's all. Okay. There you go. Pay. Put in the cash. So this is just kind of like an endless mode of the game. It says that there is a story available, but that's not in the demo. So. Who knows what the cam story campaign is going to be. <laughs> oh, what's this one? That looks like... Ale, maybe? Eight, six... Oh, shard, okay. Uh, butter, salted butter, sandwich bags, olives, and foil. Oh, there we go, just a nice simple bag for you there. Put in the cash. And nobody gets change, I notice. <laughs> Maybe that's a thing that will be added at another time. Oh, right. Blueberries don't scan. They're going to be... Uh, 4240. So I actually did used to have a job like this. My first job was at the greengrocers, where they sell... Um, fruits and veg and things like that obviously and most of the things you'd put on the scale to weigh them but anything that was more unusual you'd have to type the code in and they'd have this big like book of codes that you'd have to search through so yes this is entirely accurate <laughs> right so that's an e eggplant that we over here would call an aubergine because of the French we use the French word for it don't ask me why. <coughs> oh, so you do get points for stacking similar items together. That's that's good. Got some more pickles here. And we've got some 
have a cream there. I think we're going to have to go for a, another bag. Wash that be the only item left. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. So, we can put all the bottles together. Can you rotate them? That's something you can do? No, I don't think so. Oh, well. Is that shrimp? Shrimp. Put them in the bag, please. I don't know, maybe when the full game comes out, there'll be a uh, tutorial. But, uh... Well, there you go. Next person, we want to put our heavy bottles on the bottom. What is this? Toothpaste? Okay. Put that near the bottom. That's salmon. Lovely. Bagels? I could go for a bagel right now. Uh, lemon. Oh, it's right there. 4033. Oh, uh, enter. Put our snacks on the top here. Got some octopus. Okay. Not exactly ethical, but you do what you do. Uh, that, that, that? I think that's that. Lettuce, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna need another another bag for those two, so we'll put the bread on top there. And I think this does just go on endless mode. I don't think there is any sort of like objective for this. But uh, I just figure I'd play this just to fill like the end of the video as like a little bonus. So, if I got this game, if I were to get this game, there'd have to be some kind of um, objective mode to play, because this is fun. You know, it's just a nice little time killer puzzle type game with not really too com too much commitment needed. But I think if I were to buy it as a full game, it would have to it would have to have something more engaging to it. But uh, when it's released, we'll find out, or at least we'll take a look uh, as to what the full version has to offer and how much it costs. Oh, okay. The, uh, the music is pretty catchy as well, very sort of like blinky plonky you know, sort of like arcade retro beeps. But I think I'll finish up with this one. Oh, got another pie there. Can I? So I think I can put things down while I rearrange the packaging, which could help me get more of a, uh, a bonus for things like that. Don't know if there is a rotate option. Maybe there is, maybe not, I don't know. But it's, uh... Something that I think would be helpful. What is that? Mushrooms? Uh, yeah, and that's a mango? Uh, four, oh, four, eight. A lime, ah, okay. That's a mango. But yeah, it does seem like certain item combinations offer more bonuses. Probably something that you could discover in story mode. But, uh... Yeah. For now, for what it is, just a nice little time killer. Not particularly intensive, just, uh, just neat. Well, I know I said I was only going to do one more, but it's kind of addictive. <laughs> so, let's just play for a little longer. Like, I just, I want to see, like, what 
combinations give what uh, points. Like, I'm putting the Pepsi together here. See if that will come up with any points. Yep. So yeah, there must be something to it. I don't know what that something is. Oh, aloe vera needs to be uh, typed in. Where is it? Where is aloe vera? Oh, 3064. Like, see, they they have matching colours. Does that indicate something? Oh no, I have a countdown. I didn't even notice. Oops. Okay. So there is an end to it. Okay. Missed? Oh, I missed some. Oh, that's a shame. Not sure what that was, unless I just forgot to scan it. That could have happened. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, here we are. Like an advert. Welcome to your new cashier job. November shift 1XX19. Scan, bag, and take payment. Yeah, it seems like the colours match up. Oh, you have card payment as well. Checks. God, I've only ever cashed a check once in my life as a cashier. Get good and earn points. Yes, it seems like... Oh. So you match by the type of object. See there, you've got meat, you've got bread, you've got snack mix. Bond with your co-workers. Time theft is real theft. I've got eyes like a hawk. Okay. Being a manager is hard work. I have to sit in this office and look busy all day. <laughs> In a really long Wednesday. What? It's only Monday? I need a break. That's a mood. Earn stars to avoid getting fired. Oh no. You report. Oh no. Fail. <laughs> Become employee of the month. No paycheck bonuses included. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> We look forward to working with you. Okay, yeah, that seems pretty cool. I don't know if it's something I would get. Uh, we'd have to see. Have to see what it offers and how much it is, but it's enjoyable. Oops, story mode. Create and personalize your own avatar. Unwind from the demands of retail between shifts by chatting with co-workers. So there's like little extra elements to it. Yeah, neat. Now how do I get out? Oh, the wishlist button. Can I not just... Oh, there we go. Okay. So, yeah. Um, that is it for this video. Um, <clears throat> out of the three, the Espresso Tycoon was very, very basic. Uh, it gave very little guidance as part of the demo. And then it was just like, uh, continue playing and figure it out. Which I suppose I eventually did, but I don't know how it's going to expand on that concept um, anymore. I don't know how it's going to expand on that concept to the point that it's worth £17. Let's put it that way. Uh, Boba Simulator I really enjoyed, but it was a bit too hectic, a bit too non-stop. And to say it was a tutorial... Well, I suppose it didn't say it was a tutorial, but... If you're going to drop someone into a game and then explain how to play it, you should probably not throw things at them that you haven't explained yet. Or at the very least, isn't intuitive. And as for this one, uh, no real opinion overall. It seems fun, and I'll have to see uh, what the full version looks like uh, to properly form an opinion. But it was a nice little game. So yeah, that's it. Let's let's go. Um, so that's it for today's video. Thank you all for joining me. If you enjoyed, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down below what you thought. 
Uh, also, let me know if there are any other games that you'd like me to play, including demos. And they don't just have to be Steam demos. They can be from, like, itch.io or whatever else as well. Um, also, let me know about videos, taste tests, all that kind of thing. Or if you just want to ask a question or say hello, then let me know down below. Nice to know that I'm not alone out here. So until next time, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.